My girlfriend punched my best friend's girlfriend in the face and ruined our holiday. My best friend Jack and I have been close for over 20 years. We are now both in our late 20s. He values his privacy and doesn't share much about his personal life. This was also the case when he started dating his now wife Jill 26 female. I was unaware of their relationship until they had officially become a couple, and I didn't meet her until after their first anniversary. Jack requested that I keep their relationship a secret from my girlfriend, who tends to be quite talkative and might have shared the news with others. I agreed, seeing no issue with this as Jack and my girlfriend didn't interact much and my girlfriend and I rarely discussed him. Three years ago, Jack announced his third anniversary with his girlfriend, surprising all of our friends as none of them knew he was in a relationship. My girlfriend was upset with me for keeping this a secret. We had a disagreement, but eventually resolved it. Since then, I've suggested going on double dates, but she has shown no interest. She even chose not to attend my Jack and Jill's wedding. Just forward to now, our friend group always takes a vacation every year. Jill has never come with Jack, so all of our friends only met her at the wedding. This year, we were set to go skiing. Some things happened, and we couldn't make it our original destination. So we ended up coming to my best friend's house. Everyone was excited to meet Jack's wife, Jill at the house. Unfortunately, I felt terribly ill from something I ate at the airport, suffering from stomach aches and an intense headache. Jill, who believes in herbal remedies, prepared some tea for me and used a hair pulling technique to alleviate my headache, which worked miraculously. She also cooked dinner, but my girlfriend refused to eat, claiming she wasn't hungry. We all complimented Jill's cooking and went to bed early. Throughout the trip, my girlfriend has been cold towards Jill and even mocked her accent. She's from Congo. We ended up talking about this and she stopped the mocking. The last guests arrived late last night, so today we all spend time together at the house. As few people know Jill well, she received a lot of attention, which upset my girlfriend. She began mocking Jill's accent again, this time in front of everyone, leading to a tense moment where Jack glared at me. I took my girlfriend outside to talk, and she began crying loudly, accidentally knocking over a plant stand in the process. Jill came out to check up on us, and before I knew it, my girlfriend punched her in the face and she started crying. Jack saw this and now insists that my girlfriend leave in the morning. With the holiday season, no nearby hotels are available, so she's sleeping on the couch. I've repeatedly apologized to Jack and Jill, but I'm furious with my girlfriend. This behavior is out of character for her, and she hasn't been clear about her feelings or thoughts leading up to this incident. This is definitely going to leave a dent in my friendship. I don't know what more to do here. Does anyone have any advice? Update. I attempted to wake my girlfriend up in the morning, but she was already awake, packed, and ready to leave. When I tried to talk to her, she refused to engage. I then went to wake up Jack, who demanded an explanation for the previous night's violence. My girlfriend, feeling cornered, started crying, accusing us of ganging up on her. Jack threatened to call the police if she didn't explain. Amidst their argument, the friends staying in the downstairs guest room emerged, so we decided to leave to avoid further disturbance and not wake Jill. My girlfriend didn't speak to anyone and just got into the car. Throughout the ride and at the hotel, she continued to ignore me even as I repeatedly asked her what had happened. After I took a shower and came back, she had left. I checked her location and saw she was driving. She declined my calls and eventually texted me, asking for space. Since then, my texts haven't been going through. I've been in my room, not really processing everything that's happened. Jack picked me up this morning and it's been difficult being here, seeing Jill's bruised face and knowing I indirectly caused it. The rest of the trip has been cancelled as no one is in the mood to continue. Two of our friends have already left and the others are staying trying to teach Jill self-defense. Regarding suspicions that my girlfriend might have feelings for Jack, I haven't found any concrete evidence. I checked her iPad, which is linked to her phone, and found pictures of Jack zoomed in, but I suspect these were for one of her friends who had shown interest in Jack. Other than that, there's nothing substantial to support the theory. If feelings are involved, they're likely one-sided. My friend Jack isn't particularly fond of my girlfriend. Here's some background on their relationship. They first met at a restaurant when my girlfriend and I started dating. After that, their interactions were mainly through me like when I was on the phone with Jack and she'd say hi and vice versa. They don't even have each other's numbers. Plus, we live in different states and before meeting Jill. Jack was a virgin. They rarely spend time alone. If I'm not around, my girlfriend is usually with her friend. 
A few months into our relationship when my girlfriend didn't know Jack, well, he visited my house because he suspected his cancer had returned. He discussed this with me while she was present. Wanting to help, she informed our friends to support him, which turned into a huge issue that upset Jack. Since then, he always made sure if something was really personal to him for me to not tell my girlfriend. He's incredibly proud of his wife, Jill. She's attended all our work events, and even if she couldn't make it in person, she'd FaceTime him. He used to say, my girlfriend, any chance he gets. He literally said that the reason he married her was because wife was shorter than girlfriend. He's a bit corny often saying I love you before hanging up the phone, and he's become even cornea since marrying Jill. Jack isn't big on social media but posts occasionally for holidays or birthdays. He chose not to tell our friends about Jill, initially because they can be invasive. Our friend group enjoys pranks sometimes going too far for his liking. Jill doesn't curse, drink, smoke, and is somewhat conservative traits that contrast with our group's lifestyle. So Jack felt hesitant to introduce her to the group. Anyway, what should I do next?